man, you wanna see something awesome? We got the Heller CP6000. And uh, today is an awesome day because, boom, we're about to get a new machine right here. The HF 5500, it's an absolute beast. It's a monster. Like, so this machine right here is all about torque and power, like aerospace, just hard materials, just getting after it, right? But boom, check it out. We got the Unisorbs on the floor right here. So we got a new machine right here. But uh, let me shut up and go walk out this door because there's stuff going on out here. Woohoo! it's new machine day. And there's the machine. Boom, right there. The manufacturing family, Titans of CNC. Oh, yeah. What's up? Oh, What's man. up, Travis? How you doing, brother? Boom. Boom. In your face. Got Heller in the house. What's up, brother? Ooh, let's, let's go take a look at this bad boy right here. This is the HF 5500. It is crazy fast. They have an option on this machine that goes 3,500 inches per minute plus. And this one is the slow one at 2,500 inches a minute. Now, one of the cool things, ooh, let's take a look. Oh, the back, look at that. Dude, we're inside. Look at this monster right here. Like, that's the thing about Heller. You can just see, like, it's just rock solid, rock solid. That's why all the big companies, the big OEMs, they all have Heller. Because Hellers don't break down. You run them nonstop. They're the cream of the crop. Oh man, check it out. Ooh, let's get the inside look, inside look. When you look at the base of these machines, like everything is about the foundation. That's where the rigidity comes from. And it's a single piece. So the foundation is a single piece where a lot of other companies actually put multiple pieces together when they get this big. What's up, Jonathan? On, How are you, brother? Good, good. Dude, the system is crazy, man. Yeah, it's, it's a really good system for what y'all got going here. That's awesome. With the new Hellers, with the new Swiss, with everything, we have to go with the best and just do a crazy upgrade. And that's what you're looking at right now. Look at the mustache, Travis. I don't know, competition. He might have you outdone, man. I'm just saying. Travis is very proud of his mustache, but nice man nice and what's cool is that that is two compressors running and that is the loudest it will ever be usually it'll just be one compressor and they'll switch back and forth jonathan can you actually explain how the system works these are going to be our sk20 keys uh integrated units dryer on uh they're set up to be 125 minus 10 psi they're going to cycle every 24 hours uh, they are going to be on a lead lag system so if one ever does cut out, the other one will see the lag and then pick back up and take over from there. That's awesome, man. And uh, thank you for the weekend work. These guys, I, I told them we can't have, oh, you see this one just shut down. That's awesome. Now you just have the one going and then it will shut down in a second. So what's cool that, ooh, oh, that was on point. Look at that. <laughs> one of the cool things is that Jonathan and his team came in on the weekend and actually made all this happen. I always say it, you can have millions of dollars worth of machines, but this machine is the most important. This system is the most important because without this system, none of it runs. That was just a really awesome thing you guys did coming in over the weekend, getting it hooked up so we didn't have to shut our machines down, man. That's awesome. I'm super honored to have this system, man. Boom, Kaiser's in the house. Woohoo! We got Heller here hooking everything up. So just a second ago, when you guys saw it on the truck, that was yesterday, so it's 24 hours later. We already have electricity and air, everything is wired, and it's already been completely set up. So tool magazine right there. Boom. This is where the pallets load. And if you actually step out here, 
we have marks on the floor. That's where the automation system's gonna happen. So we're gonna have like 12 pallets hooked up. We're gonna actually program real jobs, crazy jobs. We're gonna run them lights out and we're gonna teach you every facet of how to actually run lights out, how to program for it and how to make money. So you can actually bring jobs back to this country because if you're running lights out, if you're running automation, doesn't matter where your machine is, you can run it here or you can run it someplace else. No matter where you're at, you need to make your own parts so you can put food on your own tables and we can compete. Check it out. Boom, the Siemens control right here. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful control. So this is where the tool change happens and the magazine and all the tools will be on that side. Uh, you got the spindle right here. It's based on a horizontal, so it's like X and Y is on the column. Like it's super rigid, like a horizontal. And then the five axis is in the table. So you got this trunnion right here, awesome table. And you got supports on both sides. When you look at some of the competition, they don't have it on both sides, they have it on one side. But having support on both sides allows for complete rigidity. Ooh, I love the chip evacuation. One of the cool things is like, look at how deep the chip auger is. Like, like chips are popping in here. This thing goes at 2,500 inches per minute. You're blasting through material. Your MRR is through the roof. But if you machine all of it and your chips can't get out of the machine, then you're completely wasting time because you have to keep stopping the machine and dealing with chips. We don't want to deal with chips. And that's why I love the slope here, chips drop, and then the chips just travel straight out through the other side of the machine. We need a big barrel. Like we need something monstrous that we don't have to keep coming over there and changing it out. Oh, keep the machine running. Beautiful spindle right here. Now that was one of the cool things when I was over at Heller, Germany was seeing how they make their own spindles. They make them right in house to control their own destiny by making their own products. And what an amazing team they have over there. What an amazing team they have worldwide. But definitely when I went to Germany, I was impressed. Chris, what's up, man? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Boom. Dude, you guys are killing it today, man. Oh yeah. Love it, killing it every day. We have to. It's I know. So. So we got Tony on camera the last time, yeah. but uh, now we got Chris on camera, man. Thank you for everything. Like working through the weekend, doing all of it. The team at Heller is amazing, man. Yeah, thank you very much. So I noticed the Unisor fixators, you guys have four of them here. Yes. And then you had a bunch of them on the CP6000. Well, what's the difference between the machines? The machine bed are completely different. So this here is way smaller as the CP6000. So we have here also much less weight. Awesome. So we have the outer four, they're anchored and bolted down. Okay. And we put two more under the bed to support the center of it. And you level it within like microns. Five to 10 microns. Ooh, crazy. So what, what is the process now? Basically I have the tool magazine that's in place, but what, you have to lift it up and bring it in? Yeah, or we have oh. to lift it up. We have to mount it to the machine, but before that we leveled it roughly so we know where we are. Okay. So right now we put in the indicator we put into the spindle to the tool changer. So we see later when the magazine gets mounted that we don't pull the whole bed, we don't twist the bed down. Uh, we have to mount it with the four bolts to that area to the machine bed. Now for that we have extra leveling areas where we sit down on it so we know the magazine is straight. A lot of the big castings and stuff for big machines, yeah. they're in pieces and you guys actually do, it's one solid piece, right? Yeah, we make one solid piece because the more we have, the more issues can happen. Yeah. The more can go wrong. So we so have one solid. And solid. No, one, one foundational piece, level it within right. microns, and everything yeah. just works. That's Boom. how it should be. When we mounted the magazine, we would put all the covers around also the door in front so we can mount the electrical panel right in front so that everything works later. Awesome. And I just heard the forklift come in so you guys are actually going to mount it now. Yes. Awesome. Thanks man. You're very welcome. Boom! Hell is in the house. Two machines down. Automation coming. Love you guys. 
If you love the education we're bringing down, the awareness to the trade, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put your comments down below. First job's up. We're gonna be murdering some material just to test the machines out. Then we're running some crazy aerospace parts over here, hard materials. And then we're running uh, some EB automotive parts on this bad boy. And uh, we're gonna murder chips. So stick around, watch the videos. It's gonna be amazing. I'm out, boom.